Clunky Hero is a comedic metroidvania set in a medieval-like fantasy world. You play as Rufus, a normal peasant who has to save his wife from the evil clutches of a creature with a name that can't be said. Otherwise the apocalypse will come. Armed with a bucket as his helmet and a broom as his weapon, he is ready to bring his wife back home. Along the way you meet many different characters who sometimes give you side quests to get better weapons or new items. These side quests were basically just fetch quests. You have to find an item for them or reach a specific place and they will give you your reward when you return. Not really my favorite kind of side quests, but I guess it was a nice change of pace and it was a good way for you to uncover the whole area. Each area is divided in four or more separate sub-areas, each with their own map. This map is not instantly visible though. You'll have to find it first, before you can unlock it. They aren't really well hidden, but walking into an area without a map isn't the best feeling. Because I didn't know what to expect or where to go. It added a bit more challenge, and I can appreciate that because the rest of this game is fairly easy if you're pretty experienced at these kind of games. Most enemies don't deal insane amount of damage, and when you die you lose nothing. You only lose a bit of progress and you spawn at the last checkpoint. The only thing that makes it a bit challenging is that you don't respawn with full health. You will spawn with the amount of health you had left when you had activated the last checkpoint. You can recover your health and also your mana with food that you can purchase in shops or just find during your adventure. Or you can restore your health and mana to full if you touch these rocks that look like a giant boob. Yeah, I'm not joking. Only at the end I had to go back to the main village to stack up on food again, because the enemies were starting to do more damage. But overall, this game is pretty forgiving and a nice time. The only thing I really didn't like were almost all boss fights. Their design was great, but they felt like damage sponges. They have no health bar, so you will never know if it's close to dying. And they have no different faces, so the attacks become really easy to predict. But because of the insane amount of health the bosses have, they become really tiresome. Even when you use items that multiply your attack damage and that make you invincible for 15 seconds or more, the bosses still won't die. I guess adding a health bar would be really useful, so you can actually see the damage you're dealing. I have to say, the gameplay in general is just pretty basic. You have a normal attack and a long range projectile attack that requires mana. Same goes for the platforming. It's nothing new, but for me it's more about the presentation of this game. Like I said in the intro, this game is a comedic metroidvania. And not the greatest metroidvania I have ever played. I was laughing a lot at the jokes, or during some dialogues between Rufus and an NPC. Sometimes it's a bit too on the nose or a bit cringe, like the rock that looks like a giant boob, or your actual sweat being a projectile weapon. But I can look past that. I just really enjoyed the world building and the fun art style. It made for a pretty solid game. The gameplay is, like the title says, sometimes a bit clunky, but the comedic presentation sells this game for me. There's a fair amount of secret weapons, rooms, items and side quests that keeps this game engaging enough as well. So in general, Clunky Hero is not close to being the best metroidvania I have played, but it's for sure one of, or even the funniest metroidvania. I have ever played. It's pretty self-aware and I appreciate that design choice. Hopefully you can ignore some flaws I have talked about, because if you can, this game is a blast and for sure worth your time. Grab a bucket and a broom and be ready for a very entertaining adventure to save your wife from a horrible fate.